Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I do um, panel lines. Um, you can do panel lines all kinds of ways and um, I've tried some and some I like and some I don't like and some that just won't work around something that's curved extreme, um, um, extreme curve. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll show you, um, first I'll show you why one way I don't like and then the way I um, Go ahead and make panel lines. So here I go. First, I'm just um, just going to draw a cylinder. And I'm just going to extrude this. And click OK. Now, one way I've tried, and it works um, great, like on flat surfaces or something that has a mild curve, is um, let's say I want a panel line, you know, line going down here, cut into here. So, what you can do is first do an offset plane of from here. So, come up here to construct offset plane. This. And then uh, move this so it's above the surface here. And click OK. Now, click this plane that I want to draw on this. Create sketch. Now, let's say I had, to, um, I'm going to do a wild curve for you here. So let's say we have something um, like this. And click OK. Now we have this. Now let's say we want these lines all the way like this on the surface of the cylinder. So what I'll do now is turn this plane back on so I can see it. And click it and create sketch on this plane. Then I'll use um, letter P to project. Oops, use wrong project. I'm going to use a project, but it's project to include over here and project to the surface. And the surface I want to project to is this. And the curve I want to project is this line here. And as you can see, the line becomes a skewed. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it's really not that same line on the surface. Now, this method works um, good, you know, um, on something that's not curved as much. It works quite well. And um, from here, if you were to continue with it like this, um, what you would do then is use a pipe command, come over here and pipe and the path this would be the path and then you select your parameters which you want to use and it would cut that in here like that and um make sure to set the cut and that works great there's nothing wrong with doing that at all but um if you need something exact and to wrap around this thing then um we'll show you i'll show you how to do that so I'll just go ahead and delete these because I don't need them anymore. And this line here, I don't need, so I'll delete that sketch also. And I'll go ahead and delete this plane too because I don't need it. Now what I'm going to do is draw on this plane and do that same crazy line. Okay, 
Now we have that drawn on the inside. Now, go ahead and finish sketch. And we have that. And that's on, like I said, that's on that plane inside. Now what we're gonna do is I hit the letter E for extrude. Now, make sure you come over here to extrude and, and set this to thin extrude. And now the uh, profile that we're gonna use is this line. And make sure it's set to new body also down there and come out here, it changed the cut, but make sure it's a new body. And click OK. Now we have that in there. Now come up here to modify body. Choose split body. And this is the body you want to split. And our splitting tool is going to be this. And we click OK. Let me turn the lines back on also. Now I can turn this off over here in the bodies. Now we have this pattern in here. Now that's not actually cut in there at all. That's just a lines of that. But as you can see, that's the exact shape we want and it wraps around there like it should around the cylinder. Now, if you want this cut into the cylinder, now we just come over here to our pipe command. And you choose the path, one of these two lines that you want to use, and use it as a path. Now, you can come over here also and select um, how big you want this um, to be. Uh, let's see here, I'll change this to half a millimeter. This is set to cut and click OK. OK, now I'm going to turn that body two off. And now you can see this is this is now cut into here. Because I'll cut the um, the lines off. Now you can see that's cut in there. That's exactly how it should be. And that is how I do panel lines. And like I said, there's many ways of doing um, panel lines, but certain ways just will not work around a radical curve like this. So, um, but this is how I do that. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, short little video. And um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that um, like button and go ahead and subscribe because I'm coming out with new videos and new things that I'm, I'm building and I'm working on constantly. So hope you have fun and catch you in the next video. Okay, what I forgot to do is show you guys actually how to draw a panel line in an actual model, and I'll go ahead and do that now. So now, I want to turn the canvases back on. And let's say I want to draw the panel line here. So, come up here to create sketch on the center line plane here. L for line. And I'm just going to put the line up here, to here, and click OK. And now I'm going to hit the letter E for extrude. And make sure you set this over here to um, thin extrude and select this line here. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, you can change the thickness of this line um, um, right here. You can change it to 0 0.5, 0 0.4, et cetera, et cetera how um, thin you need that to be on your model, as long as you leave it as is for now. Now, pull this out and set this to new body. And go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to turn this vertical stab off. There we go. 
And that's what we have now. And turn the canvases off too, don't need them. Now we're going to split body here. Come up to modify, split body. This is the body we want to split. And the splitting tool I'm going to use is this. And click OK. All right, now we have this. And I'm going to turn this off. And this is what we're left with. Now, this is not actually cut. Like I said, it's not cut into this fuselage just yet. Because if I turn the lines off, it goes away. And these, like you see, these others are cut into it, but that's not. So I turn the lines back on. And to cut that in there, what we do is just come up here to create pipe and the path select one of these make sure to set the cut and you can change the size of it again size and the shape right up here this set to cut and click OK now when you do this now I can turn this part off too And we have that turned off that other ones from the one up front there but um you can see this now when you do this make sure that the wall thickness of your model is thick enough um this thickness here i believe it's like 0.5 or something um but just make sure you have that um, wall thickness just thicker than what your um, line you're going to cut into it um so like let's say if this thickness is, let's just say it's one millimeter and you cut two millimeters in here, you're going to split this in half. So if you select this as one millimeter, this, the cut here, that pipe should be less than one millimeter or it should um, actually be less than a half millimeter. But anyway, that is how um, I do that. And now I can turn the lines off. And as you can see, it's actually cut into there like the other lines are. All right. And once again, um, hope you enjoyed this video and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.